Hey everyone! Welcome back. I am back today with the season finale of The Mandalorian. You guys, I cannot wait to see how they're going to wrap things up here. I've been loving this season. If you're joining me early today, you already know what it means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much. And as always, I am sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in the description down below. So I really loved last episode. Um, considering there was no Grogu in that episode, um, I think it was a fantastic uh, just kind of way to stop and pause and um, kind of take a, a closer look at a character we thought we already knew but I think it was it was really interesting to get to know him a little bit better Mayfield um you know I hadn't um and I don't know if it's something they mentioned last season but I I really did not guess that what we were going to get was going to be an episode about standing back and looking at the events going on in the galaxy a little bit differently um and I think that's an interesting thing that I've seen in a lot of other Star Wars um, shows <laughs> that I've been watching recently, um, as well as kind of an interesting commentary on just the world. Um, the fact that, uh, you know, everyone kind of thinks that they're on the right side, no matter what side they're on. But that way of thinking... Uh, it's kind of dangerous, you know. Um, I saw this. I saw this great meme um, after uh, a couple episodes ago, the one where they they capture Grogu, and it was a <laughs> stormtrooper, and it said, "Baby shackles. We have baby shackles. Oh my god, are we the bad guys?" <laughs> and it's like awful because it's awful funny at the same time because it is funny, but at the same time you're kind of left thinking. Oh, you know, and we saw that in the um, in the previous episode that uh, you know, kind of like the cheering and everything, like all these, all the, all the, all the bad guys, quote unquote, were like cheering them on when they came in. They came in and like saved them and helped them out because they thought they were one of them and everything. And it's it's kind of true, like to to a large degree, like when it comes to war. You always think like, oh, you're, and I'm not saying there's not things worth fighting for, but I mean, it's, it's kind of a tricky situation when, um, like what he was saying, like both the, both the planets are gone, you know, um, it, it's, it's a, it's a very, uh, it's a very harsh look at, um, something that is clearly, not um, a cut and dry situation. Let's put it that way. So, um, so I loved, I loved getting to know him better. I did not think I was going to. I thought for sure, you know, I could tell maybe I was going, he was going to come in and help and it was going to be like not like more than it seemed last season. But I could have never guessed that I would end up like cheering for him at the end. Like, oh my God. And I just like, I love that he died at the end, and now he has the opportunity to go and do, you know, something more with his life. And I just am left with this feeling of, like, I really, really, really hope that um, he goes and does something amazing with his life um, and, and uh, maybe is a positive influence um, on the galaxy. So I don't know if we'll see him again. Maybe we'll catch up with him at some point and it'll be like some of our other recurring characters were like, we saw them start here, but we've come a long way. So, all right, let's get to um, baby Grogu talk. Um, so last we saw, he was not doing well, our poor baby. Um, I did love the triumphant way that we ended the last episode um, with Mando getting to uh, echo back those words at Moff Gideon. Um, oh, it was just, compared to the way we ended the episode before that, it was just so triumphant I don't know it just felt like yes finally we are we're we're gonna do this um so I have no idea what's gonna happen I would imagine they're not gonna do anything drastic like 
you know, have them separated as a cliffhanger or anything like that, or worse. Um, but I honestly, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, I, I hope they wouldn't end me on a cliffhanger like that, but... Um, you guys, there's only one way to find out, and that is to jump into this finale of The Mandalorian. Let's go. We've met. Uh huh. Is alive? Yes. He's on the cruise. <gasps> <gasps> he didn't really want to hurt the baby. I remember that. I'm not with him. We can work something Ah! Oh no! Oh! He's taking matters into his own hands. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> you think you're funny? Do you know how many millions were killed on those bases? Oh, God. Stop, stop, stop. As the galaxy cheered. No, don't let him. was a small price to pay to rid the galaxy of terrorism. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. You should not have... Her. You should not have pushed her. Okay. Oh my god, it's so cool seeing the two of them. How cool is that? Oh! 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 Yes! Said I was. I didn't know psychics were allowed to talk. <gasps> Ooh! Well, if that isn't the quack they're calling the stiffling slimy. Easy there, little one. <gasps> You'll be talking through a window of a back to tank. Oh! Oh, it's boss time though. <laughs> you could be helpful in your effort to regain Mandalore. Hmm. You're kidding me, Mandalore. The Empire turned that planet to glass. You're not helping. Oh, come on, guys. Let's. Some belong to my father. Yeah. <gasps> oh no 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 no. Oh shoot. Might be the last one you hear. Ah! The tension though. Oh god. Oh no, guys, come on. What's but the baby though? Come on, guys. Come on. What's what? Oh, oh. But I I do want to see this fight though. I'm not going to lie. Oh my god, look at her go. With the dark saber restored to me, Rescue the child, and you can have whatever you want. Yeah, he's like cool. Oh, he's such a good daddy. Oh god, I so want to. I just want to see like all of Clone Wars now. Like just download it into my brain. Except them, um, you couldn't watch it along with me, but. <laughs> Look at that though. Got it. He's ex ISB. He's got a lot of information. Uh. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Get the hell out of there as soon as they Oh. Drop your weapon. Ha. Not happening. There we go. I just love watching them work. Look at them. Oh well. Oh, they are they are very intimidating, guys. They are very intimidating. Oh. No. No. Come on! 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 Come on, come on. No, so scary. Oh, shoot. No, no, no. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I hate watching this, even though the armor is like, oh, oh, and the other one's trying to get through. No, 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 no. Oh, flame on. Flame on. 
Are they flame resistant? Please don't tell me they're flame resistant. Oh, they're flame resistant. Oh no, this is horror. This is like a horror movie. This is a horror movie now. Like, is anything, is anything gonna, oh, they are. Oh, 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 nice. Oh, he found a weak spot. Way to go. All right, okay, he found, he found a weak spot, okay. Oh God, please get, please, 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 please. Oh, oh, oh guys, that was so scary. That was so scary. Oh, oh! Get away from him. Baby, baby, baby! Drop the blaster. Don't you dare even think about it. Give me the kid. Give him the kid. kid. Mesmerizing, isn't it? Used to belong to Bo-Katan. It's going yes, to again. I know you've been traveling. Assume that I know everything. Like the fact that your wrist launcher has fired its one and only sound bomb. Dang it. Where is this going? This is where it's going. I'm guessing that bo and her boarding party have arrived at the bridge. Seeking me, or more accurately, this. Oh boy, he does know everything. Whoever wields this sword has the right to lay claim to the Mandalorian throne. Is that what you he's can't. after? I just want the kid. Oh, he yeah. He's like, you know what? Just give me the baby. I could care less. Very well. I wouldn't trust him. I've already got what I want from him. His blood. <gasps> All I wanted was to study his blood. This child is extremely gifted. We and has been that. blessed with rare properties that have the potential to bring order back to the galaxy. When you say order. Aww. I see baby. your bond with him. Even he sees it. That's this baby. Take him. I don't, I know. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I'm scared. I don't want to. I don't know. I. I know he just wanted his blood, but. <gasps> oh, it can't. It can't cut through that, though. We know it can't cut through that. Oh, I knew we shouldn't have trusted him. I knew we shouldn't have trusted him. It can't cut through his armor. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Whoever is going to show up, please show up. Please show up. Oh my lord, fight of the century though. Oh. He's very my life. Oh, well, this should be interesting. Uh-oh. He's got to set a good example for his baby. What happened? He brought him in alive, that's what happened. And now the New Republic's gonna have to double the payment. That's not what she's talking about. Huh? Why don't you kill him now? And take him. It's yours now. What is? Huh? The dark saber. It belongs to you. What? No. He can just it give it. To her. Yeah. She can't take it. It must be one <gasps> in order for her to wield the dark saber again. Oh, she need to defeat you in combat. Uh oh, that's what why she it's yours. Oh, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> oh, it no, doesn't work that way. it doesn't work that way. The dark saber doesn't have power, the story does without that blade. She's a pretender to the throne. Oh, don't push it here. He's right. Oh, God, they're going to have to fight? Come on, just take it. Oh. 
What if he just says, like, I surrender? Because they, she said she had to make Moff Gideon surrender to her. So what if he just said, like, can he, j can he just let her win? Uh-oh. Oh, no, I know. Please, this is, like, the worst possible timing for this to happen. This is the worst possible timing. Okay. Someone's going to show up, right? Someone's going to show up and help us. Is it going to be Ahsoka? It's going to be somebody else? Oh, he's so... Oh, he seems so creepy right now. What? An X-Wing. An X-Wing? Oh, he's perking up. He's perking up. Is this who? He, is this who he reached out to? Is this who he reached out to? Oh my god! 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 Who is it? 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 Oh, it's it's it is a Jedi. It is a Jedi. Who is it? Who is it? Oh, he's scared now. He's scared. Who is it? Who? It's a it's a green it's a green lightsaber. Reach out your little hand, sweetheart. Reach out your little hand. It. He's like you know them. Do you know them? Whoever it is, they are not intimidated by the dark troopers. He's, look at him reaching out his little hand. He's like, I'm here. I'm here. Please come help us. Oh, I'm just dying for you to just, just get, just give, just show me. Do I, do I know? Do I already know? Do I already know? Do I already know? He, uh, oh, 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 sick, oh, sick, come on, come on, come on, he's like, oh, they're here, they're here, I called them and they're here, who did you call, baby, it's, it's, I called for help, daddy, oh, Oh my god, I think I already know! I think I already know! Are you a Jedi? Yes! I am. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I knew as soon as I saw the hand, as soon as they showed me the hand. That's who you belong with. He's one of your kind. But oh, we're really doing this? I promise. But the bit but but that's his daddy now.
just don't want them to part ways, but if they had to, but if they had to, it's Luke. Is this the beginning of Luke training all the kids? understand his beeps. He's like, "Hello, friend." Ah! Oh, he's excited. They're having a good conversation. Take good care of him. <laughs> I don't want them to part ways. <laughs> but if anyone had to, oh, pick up the baby. <laughs> Okay. Get out get out of here. Get out of here. Go. Oh, we got some unfinished business up in here. Yes, we do. Oh. I bet you did. I bet you did. Bye bye. Bye bye. So long. Oh god. See, just. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me he's in charge now. Oh my god. Oh my god. He is in charge now. He is in charge now. He's like, it's, it's, it's good to be king, you guys. It feels good. Oh my god. That was everything. I'm so glad I waited. The, the book of, the book of Boba Fett? What? Oh my god. Yes. Holy cow. <coughs> I'm choking to death. I'm sorry. I'm choking to death. That's a good way to go, though. Don't worry. All of my senses are overwhelmed right now. Like, every sense I have is, 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 like, in overdrive. Okay. Let's talk. Is this the end of the Mandalorian? Is this the end of the story? Is this how the story ends? Or is there because they did they did hint though that um what about the Darksaber? Like we didn't we still have to deal with that, right? Don't we still have to deal with the Darksaber? Because I mean she's sounds like they're gonna have to fight. Um, so is there gonna be more Mandalorian? Are we at some point? Oh my god, I should have brought tissue for this. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Um, 
It sounds like they will. It sounds like that's the only way for her to to get it back is to fight him for it. Um, is there more Mandalorian? Is this the end of Grogu on the Mandalorian? Is are we gonna have more Mandalorian and it's just gonna be like about something else? I can't imagine it without Grogu, but I trust whatever they're gonna do with it. You know what I mean? Um if this was the end of that story. I will accept it. I think it was a great way to end it. Um, having Luke show up. I should have... I, I, I knew the green lightsaber was... Because then I... Didn't, wasn't Ahsoka's blue? Um, I knew like that was a huge hint. And I was trying so hard to get any glimpse when when he was fighting the dark troopers. But as soon as, like right before they show his face, they show that I saw his hand. I was I oh and and I mean they like oh can we talk about what an amazing job they did. I know, I know that technology is not absolutely flawless, perfect, but good lord, you guys, they brought Luke out of like Return of the Jedi times or like very soon after and, and just, and just put him, put him in this show. Also, Boba Fett going back, getting revenge, taking the throne, being able to see that as a fan is is um to think that and I said this a few episodes ago I'm going to say it again I'm going to tear up when I say it to think that we're getting all of this at this level now after like you know it felt like it it there was such a a gap in between being able to get um the story continued in a show that is so well done like this I mean I feel incredibly blessed you guys I'm I mean that I know I know that's like a I know that's like a sarcastic thing but honestly like I mean that in every sense of the world I feel very 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 blessed um all right let's talk about the episode um I love that they brought back um Bo-Katan and her crew um I love the the tension that we had. That makes me want to go see like more of what happened in Clone Wars so bad. Right now I'm on season two of Clone Wars. So go see those reactions after this, please. Go check those out, please. Little shameless plug for my Clone Wars reactions. Um, but that makes me so want to see like the um, how they established the characters in the first place. Um, but that was, that was great. Like, when she was talking about the clones and everything, like, I've seen so much, I've heard that voice so many times, I'm like, I know what she's talking about, kind of, kind of, I'm not at that point yet. Um, okay, let me catch my breath for a second, let me catch my breath. Okay, the episode was amazing. I, I think the fight scenes that they did with the, um, with the little crew that we put together of our, our Mandalorian uh, females, and Kara, and, uh, what's, I had her name a few episodes ago, and I lost it, but you know who I mean, um, those were really, really fun, um, they did an amazing job with the Dark Troopers, they were so scary, there are not many things that I'm really, truly afraid of in Star Wars, there are a lot of, like, really great, um, uh, designs in Star Wars that I know are meant to be intimidating, and, um, many people like have been terrified of like growing up like I know a lot of people who growing up were like terrified of Darth Vader never had a problem with Darth Vader was terrified of the Emperor he is basically like the only one that ever scared me but let me tell you seeing the dark troopers scared me the way they built them up and the way that they showed us and not told us how scary they were like that fight with Mando with just one of them with the rest of them like pounding like like horror movie style that was just amazing um Moff Gideon was excellent um 
So I, going in, and this might be something that I would have known from Clone Wars, going in, I didn't know that she had to get the Darksaber back that way. So that was just like an excellent twist at the end there. And again, like I feel like we kind of left that open. So is there more Mandalorian? Um, we have the Book of Boba Fett to look forward to next year. Next year, you guys. Watch, watch, watch I'm sure I'll be reacting to it. I hope I'll be reacting to it. Um, I know a year's a long time, but... I, I definitely want to. Um, let's let's watch that one together, you guys. Um, that's going to be amazing. Um, having Luke show up. It. I'm. I'm. I'm excited, but I'm also very scared because, like I said, we know that does not. I don't want to get into like because I don't. I'm assuming you guys have all seen the movies and everything. If you're watching this here, but I don't want to get into like super heavy details just in case. I really don't want to be that person that like spoil <laughs> a bunch of stuff for somebody. That would make me so sad. But you know, we know that doesn't end well. Let's put it that way. So it makes me a little scared for Grogu. Um, I am hoping there's more Mandalorian and we do see him again, like he is still part of the story so that we can um, we can find out at least what's happening to him along the way and everything. Um, and it makes me wonder if we're going to see like little Kylo Ren too. Ah! Oh God, um, that was everything. That was everything. I just like by the end, I don't know what I was crying more over. Seeing Luke and seeing him the way that I remember seeing him from the movies when I was a kid, or um, just the fact that that would ha even happen on the show, or them parting, or Mando taking off his helmet and having Grogu touch his face like that. I don't know what I was crying over more, but I'll tell you what, that was like emotion overload. And then to uh, just to top it, just to put that cherry on top with the end credit scene, you guys. Oh, that's just, I just want, I just want to sit here and do a slow clap. I'm just going to sit here and do a slow clap. That was, that was everything. That was everything, you guys. Um, okay. I feel very tired and dehydrated from all the, from all the screaming and crying I have done. I absolutely loved this season. Um, just a quick, just a very, very quick recap of the season. Um, I love what they did here. I love that they have taken everything they built up in season one with kind of the bond that was building between him and Grogu and just made that the focal point of the season. And by the end here, we have like him just like with his number one priority is this, is this child. Um, I love that we got Ahsoka. Even though I don't know who she is from Clone Wars, I love that they would do something like bring in Bo-Katan and bring in, you know, Katie Sackhoff, who voiced her on the show, um, to do that. Uh, I just think they've done an excellent job of bringing in some really amazing, like, Easter eggs for people who have watched other, you know, watch Clone Wars, but at the same time, like, we can all, like, your, your average person watching can get on board with, like, Luke showing up, especially since he looks like he did in, in, in the, in Return of the Jedi and everything. Um, you know, I love that it's an accessible show for, for everyone. Like, there really is, like, something for everybody in here. Um, I just, after season one, I didn't know how they were going to top themselves, and my god, they have done it. They have done it. So guys, I loved this season. I love this show so much. I really hope we're getting more. Some of you may know if we're getting more or not. I know we had that huge wave of uh, info about all the new shows coming out, and um, I'm not sure if they mentioned it or not in there, um, but it does feel like there's more to do here. If they end it here, it's been amazing. I, I hope there's more, just because... Um, I'm greedy and I want more. <laughs> I want more Mandalorian, please. Give me more of that baby Grogu. Um, so, all right, guys, this has been an incredible journey. Thank you so much for coming with me on it. Uh, I have loved this show so much, as you can see from, like, my beet red face and bleeding mascara. I have absolutely adored the show, and I hope you have enjoyed watching it along with me. Please join me in the future for, you know, reactions to all these fun Disney shows that are coming out. I'll get you more details on that, of course, as they're, as we actually know, like, when they're coming out, but I do, um... 
plan and hope to react to those. I'm reacting to Clone Wars, so if you like the Clone Wars stuff in this and you want to see me watch Clone Wars, shameless plug for my Clone Wars reactions. And of course, please check out the rest of what I'm doing if you haven't already because I, I'm reacting to other fun stuff that um, I hope you would enjoy. So you guys, as always, thank you so, so much for joining me today, for joining me all those times in the past, and hopefully for joining me in the future. Please be sure to join me next time, and we will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.